And I know for many of our listeners, whether it's around the topic of politics or vaccines or COVID, I am always shocked by the amount of anger and animosity that is created amongst people, two people, around these topics. Because at the end of the day, you know, the fact that the person, your nephew, let's assume, you know, has a, the opposite political view than you do, or the opposite view on COVID than you do, that doesn't, that's not going to change the world. And by the way, you're probably not going to convince them that you're right, and they're probably not going to convince you that, that they're right. But, but I, let's set all that aside. But I've seen so many intense, angry conversations around these topics, and it's, it's really silly. And I have to say that for myself, you know, maybe this is a good tool for our listeners. Whenever I'm going somewhere, and I know there's going to be somebody there who, for whatever reason, either picks fights or says nasty things, I almost, in my mind, I view it as, okay, this is going to be a, a, a fun experiment, right? What is a silly thing that this person is going to say? And I know that I'm not going to get angry about it, no matter how silly it is, and I know that I'm not going to yell at them, no matter how, you know, uh, uh, stupid I think their comments are, because that's not where I'm going to be investing my energy. And I think that's a really important element, as you said, on the one hand, what are the things over the next the holidays that are, are going to be really important to me and I'm going to do? You know, maybe it's something about baking. You know, maybe like, you know, we often have myself and the kids will bake an apple pie for, for Thanksgiving um, and other holidays. Right, point, really make a list of what are the things, the important things that are going to happen. It might not be at the meal, it might not be the, the picture, it might not be the fireplace. As important, I think, is also the list of what are the things that are not going to bother me. I think most of us know, especially if we have large families, what who are the people and what are the situations and what are the topics that might be, you know, a place that really causes angst or anger. And you say, I'm just not that's not gonna not gonna bother me. Well, you know, a mantra that I created in those situations is it could possibly be a great idea or it could go incredibly wrong. So you could fill it in anywhere, right? So it's a, it's a great idea, right, to get family together, but also could be <laughs> probably maybe not a great thing that will actualize. But if you approach it like that, I think the point is it's still worthwhile, right? We still want to connect family or people that are like family. It's important to have those kinds of connections, but I think our expectation needs to shift. 